Hey everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today. In the last tutorial, we already described what is the difference between isobar and isocore maps. And as promised, today we are going, going to show you how to convert isocore map into isobar, which represent the true formation thickness or true stratigraphic thickness uh, as we illustrated before if you have a formation x dipping from the horizontal line with uh, angle of theta so it's generating uh, as this cartoonetic photograph you will find uh, a right angle triangle representing isocore as a hypotenuse, hypotenuse and the isobar as a side the other side the general equation uh, is isobar equal isocore times cosine theta cosine theta as we mentioned is a deep deep angle which is angle from the top of this formation from the horizontal line uh, let me show you how to convert this isocore into isobar using uh, Schlumberger Petrel in this working example we have a three layers upper middle and lower I can provide you with this uh, these maps as an example for your work uh, this map is uh, XYZ or any other format you like uh, you can use it in uh, any any package like betrayal decision space by landmark or whatever but the same idea you can apply with any other GNG package uh, for instance uh, we can divide uh, we can uh, subtract the lower and from uh, middle to create the ISO, ISO core data which represents the true vertical thickness between these two layers just right click here from middle go to setting uh, and choose arithmetic operation Z equal Z minus surface XY remember we uh, already on middle ARG uh, we need to subtract these uh, two from each two horizons uh, middle and lower so Z minus lower Z which is middle minus lower point to lower here and uh, click on this button and run uh, if you click on run just click ok this created uh, one represent the thickness through vertical thickness which is ISO core data now go for uh, statistics to see the difference uh, minimum one negative 175 and maximum 474447 four, four, um, in in reality you should have uh, only positive values but uh, according to this uh, interference between these layers so there is uh, there is some convergence uh, you can eliminate uh, later on uh, now let for, go for time uh, or color scale from 0 to 4 7 and 0 and see what happens yes and this one as we mentioned before represent the ISO core data now click okay if you want to eliminate uh, the less uh, less than zero 
you can go for um, operations eliminate where eliminate outside if z less than zero eliminate and click run apply and okay this one already filtered eliminated and you should have only positive values so starting from five to four seven okay uh, now we have to generate the deep angle map since this map is representing uh, the thickness so but we need to generate a new map which represent the deep angle only let's go again go back again to lower or sorry middle arg right click here setting and uh, surface operations and and create a deep angle map click here I'm on create new object in the same folder okay run and apply okay as you will see here a new map already generated which representing the deep angle only let's go for statistics as you see here the minimum and maximum uh, values these values representing the deep angle in degree from 0 0.35 to 84 and apply okay now you have already a new generated map representing the deep angle only now we need to generate another fourth map which representing the cosine map cosine of this angle if you remember we have uh, three maps so we generated a difference map between middle and lower which is um, thickness vertical thickness from this vertical thickness we eliminated the less than zero values and we generated a third map which is middle average deep angle deep angle map so this map number four which is um, cosine angle let's go for uh, the deep angle and angle function from operation angle function and z equal cosine z okay and run here okay now you have a new map generated representing cosine in uh, mathematics cosine cannot be more than one which is true let's see no no need for distribution of color uh, now the final map you have to multiply this cosine z cosine theta times iso core okay just right click here setting operation so again and uh, right click on z co cosine deep angle and point to calculation and point to the original map iso iso core map as a and inform the software z equals z times a apply and okay now you have the final product which representing the Isoberg map 
and here is the minimum and maximum values of course is this one completely different from generated one in beginning which is ISO core map representing the, the vertical thickness uh, you can play with this color uh, from 2 to 4000 4000 to double line okay now you have this ISO back map ready for any other geological or volumetric calculation uh, same thing you can apply from um, the difference between upper and middle upper G and uh, inform us with the results in that comment if this is the first time for you to watch our video please don't forget to subscribe to receive any up future update thank you and have a nice day